Okay, hello out there, and I just wanted to make an announcement in that I just uh, put together a, a playlist on my channel for the French New Wave. Uh, so if anyone's a fan of French New Wave cinema, or if you're just interested in it, or you don't know anything about it, but you're just interested in cinema in general, you may want to check it out because it'll be an excellent way to become introduced to the French New Wave. Uh, currently, I have over 170 videos that I was able to find on YouTube and add to the playlist. And currently, at the time of this of this video, it's about 39 hours of programming. So it's plenty of things there for you to become acquainted. Good jumping off point. It's not um, it's not um, complete in the sense that where if you just go to the playlist you'll understand the French New Wave completely because there's a lot more to it than what I was able to include in the playlist I was really surprised I was able to find as many videos as I was able to find um, I really thought it was going to be about 50 videos max um, so it's really surprising it, it, 170 videos I was working on it um, half the day today and um, it really turned out fairly well uh, basically, the way it's set up is I have uh, a few videos on the history of the French New Wave, uh, a few tribute videos. Um, I have a few videos on some of the major actors, some of the major players in the French New Wave. And then you just go into the all the uh, films. With the films, I, have, I was able to find trailers, clips, and even some interviews with directors. And I tried to link the particular interview the time period of interview with the film uh, that um, was released at that time period so that it's all in order and everything all the films I was able to use IMDB to place them in order of their release dates um, so I think everything is correct I double checked it uh, let me know if I made any mistakes but apparently from what I could tell from IMDB if it's all accurate uh, everything is in the um, is everything is placed in the playlist according to its release date. So you can go down a list and see um, become acquainted with the French New Wave in order of the film's actual release dates in the 50s and 60s. Now, if you are familiar with the French New Wave, if you read books about the French New Wave, or even go to websites, you'll notice that each list that you see that includes you know a filmography of the French New Wave each one is kinda different none the major films are all the same on each list but what constitutes a French New Wave film changes depending on who is uh, putting the list together or where you go um, basically what I did is I looked at from 1955 or so to 1968 uh, the French New Wave, I think um, most people will say the French New Wave uh, really started with the 1959 Cannes Film Festival uh, with the success of the 400 Blows. And then, you know, very soon after, you had the release of uh, Hiroshima Mon Amour and Breathless. And that's really the start of the French New Wave. But there's also precursor films, films that uh, came out prior to that, that also was an influence to those directors. Um, and also work that those directors did be prior to that kind of film festival. So I tried to include all that, and I think I did a fairly decent job. Um, and I used 1968, uh, the Cannes Film Festival that was canceled. I used that as the cutoff point. So, you know, there's probably uh, additional films that I've could have I could have included. And it's probably films I've included that some people will say, well, it's not really a French New Wave film. But I think I, I wanted to make it broad. I didn't want to make it too narrow. And um, I think it's, it's, it's a pretty good list. And I think people will enjoy it. And hopefully go from there to actually going out, finding these films. Maybe if you're lucky enough, they'll be shown on a big screen in your local area as in a repertory theater. Or you can even buy some of these films, either digitally or go out on like Amazon or something. Go for the VHS, 
or this uh, DVD, whatever you know, whatever format you can roll with. Um, I'm a big fan of the French New Wave. Basically, the French New Wave is what introduced me to uh, foreign films and French films in particular. Um, probably my first film, um, foreign film that I really, really loved was um, the Godard film, My Life to Live in English uh, is the title. Uh, I love that film. And I think I first saw the film sometime in the 90s. And um, the local channel in Philadelphia used to be called WYBE. Uh, now it goes by the name of Mind TV. And uh, they, and I don't know if they still do this because I don't, I don't watch TV as much as I used to. Uh, but during the weekends, they used to have like a, um, like a film. I don't know what they used to call it. I forget. But they used to show uh, classic films from 50s and 60s during the weekend. And one of the films they used to show on a regular basis was My Life to Live. Uh, so I got this opportunity, like the first couple of times I would see like maybe the, the tail end of it. Then I would see the half. Then finally I was able to look at the listings and know when it was going to be played and saw the whole film. I mean, they might have showed the film like four times a year. So you get opportunities every few months to see it. So, um, yeah, it was a really life-changing experience for me as far as film goes. And um, from that, I expanded out. And that's a French New Wave film. So that introduced me to the French New Wave. And from there, I expanded out to other films like 400 Blows, Breathless, and so on and so forth. And it was a slow process because um, just, um, you know, finding the films and um, paying for them in some cases. Sometimes you had to buy them. Um, then I found out about the library and their collection of films. And then I used the library a lot to find copies of a lot of these films. And that was extremely helpful. So there's a lot of different methods that you can use in order to find these films. And, um, and you can also read about them. There's plenty of books. And, you know, I can show you a few books here. Because over the years, I've collected a lot of um, French New Wave memorabilia, I guess you could say. I own some of the films. But I just want to go over the books right now. Because... Um, more easy to show the books as opposed to the films that I have. Um, what I have purchased over the years is books on the French New Wave. Now this is one, now these books are also helpful as far as putting together the playlists. Uh, one book I, I do have right here is, um, let me see if I can just show it here. Okay, this is the French New Wave, and oh, well, it's the history of the French New Wave by Richard Newport. This is an excellent book, um, and I should really reread re this book. I haven't read this book in years, but the information that I read in this book helped me put together the playlist. So this is an excellent book. I think this book, one thing it has, has a, more of a narrow view of what is included in the French New Wave. And I don't mean narrow as in like narrow-minded or, or uh, not open-minded. I don't mean it in that way. But I, they don't, it's not an expanded like some of the films that I've included in the playlist were not talked about in this film or the film or this book did not go that far into the future. Like I, like I mentioned, I went out as far as 1968. If I remember correctly, this book does not use that expanded definition of a, of a French New Wave film. You know, some lists, French New Wave films, you'll find films in the 70s, the 80s, 90s, and the 2000s even because some people have the viewpoint the French New Wave, any any director from that time period, any film he creates is a French New Wave film. So if something he made in the 80s and 90s, they still consider it French New Wave. If you go onto Amazon and type in French New Wave, French films from all different time periods is going to show up. That's a little bit too expanded for me, but you know that's a legitimate thing that some people do feel. Um, there's another good uh, book that was also very helpful for me to put together this playlist. And that was the um, the Pocket Essential French New Wave by Chris uh, Wiegand. 
little small little book excellent thing uh, for you to purchase to give you a good introduction of the French New Wave and also that book has a more expanded view of the French New Wave so if you want to have a more expanded view of what films are included in the French New Wave you may want to get that and it's also very small and you could probably read it very quickly and it's a good pocket book um, pocket paperback I say that you could take with you anywhere um, here's some other film books that I have here and these are script books so you have the actual script from the film you know I actually this one is Jules, Jules and Jim famous French uh, new wave film and it's I can't really show anything on this on this um, on this <laughs> webcam this is very uh, but you see how it has um, the script and also it has film stills or stills from the film I guess I could say and some of them are very nice but if you're a lover of the French New Wave films you can track books like this you can get on a lot of used bookstores um, I've purchased these over the years and um, they may be get they may be um, kind of tougher to get nowadays. I don't know, but I think you can also get these on Amazon. I think some of these are purchased. Some of these I purchased many years ago. I don't remember where I got them, but some of these I think I purchased on Amazon. Now this one is a uh, Pro La Fou. Am I pronouncing that right? Please help me with my pronunciation, people. One of the things is that's difficult about French language film is that if you don't speak French, um. A lot of things, it's difficult to discuss the films with people because you're worried about your pronunciation. Like the, the titles of the films in French do not appear in the film, so you don't have any reference point. Also, a lot of the names of the actors and directors, you don't know how to pronounce them correctly, and so often you're going to be pronouncing them wrong. So I just want to apologize for that, I'm pronouncing anything incorrectly. Um, but yeah, these are excellent books. You know, I, I'm using black and white here. I should have used the color. It might be a little bit more... Wow, look at this. Goodness, that's, this is awesome. Alright, let's see what else we got here. That's um, La Petite Soda. Why, I don't know why they use the um, this still. If you can see, that's Adolf Hitler. Um, he uses, I mean, this is just something, this is actually from the film, but I don't know why they use that still on the cover. I think it's kind of tacky to use the uh, that particular still. They could use any still possible. Now, you know, if you love film, it's really cool just to read the script. And I think a couple of these films, I actually purchased the script prior to actually seeing the film. You know, so some of these um, these books were my intro introduction to the film, but I could not get a copy prior to having the ability to purchase the script. And this is a uh, Hiroshima Mon Amour. Some of these they tell you, like this one tells you it has seventy illustrations, so you have seventy stills from the film in here. This one, um, it's like most of the stills are in a um, place within the text. Uh, they have a few, like this one is just um, a still. Uh, okay, here, this one is a. Uh, what do you call that? You call it. Um, I forget what you call that. But um, this, the images is, is stretched over the two pages there. So this one's pretty good. Now let me see what else I got. Oh, I have this one. This is great. You know, this film, this is Weekend by uh, Jean-Luc Godard. And this is an excellent one. Because this film, this is when Godard was getting to his difficult period. And it was difficult to follow the films. Well, you can also have the script here. So if you can read this and follow this, you can probably then digest the film a little better. Maybe. <laughs> I think it still be difficult. Okay, all right. Well, all right, that's the little memorabilia. But hey, check out the playlist, and I think you'll be um, pleasantly surprised. Peace.